right, so here's the now longtime UFC heavyweight contender, Sergey Spivak. He had a main event against Cito Ghosn in Paris in September of 2023. And that was the litmus test that a lot of people think he was gonna pass. He was unable to get it done that night. He has gone back to the well. He has worked on his striking. Most people are not gonna be able to stop this man from taking them down. And a lot of them aren't gonna be able to get up either. He has worked very hard on his game at Extreme Couture in Las Vegas. He has a nice kinship with Dewey Cooper. And now we'll see just how elite Sergey Spivak can be. Tonight is one he's gotta have. exciting here DC the founder of Jeet Kune Do one of the founding fathers really of mixed martial arts Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said I want to be a fighter it was the speed it was the charisma it was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special and tonight he's gonna look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee, ladies and gentlemen, Bruce Effing Lee has graced the octagon. We are set to go for our main event of the evening. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <clears throat> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Sergey Polar Bear Spivak! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Herb Dean, our referee ready, for this ready. one. Ready. Well, no surprise, the Scotiabank Arena packed to the nines. These Canadians just have an insatiable appetite for him. Every time there's a fight in the north, the arena is completely full, and tonight, you see the same thing. I cannot wait for a great fight. All right, now they separate. All right, early round one action here as the fighter engages in the clinch, and again, we don't know the striking discrepancy here, but you gotta think the wrestler is gonna pursue these situations in this match. I mean, he spent his lifetime here. He spent his lifetime in close, so he gets to the clinch, he gets chest to chest, and he's comfortable. No matter how good his opponent is in terms of overall skills, he is so well versed here that he feels like he is in the advantage position. Spivak's in half guard now. Print the shirts, ground and pound. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. And there it is, another strike. Gets through on the ground. Gotta watch his neck. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pinned in the triangle now. Oh, 
the submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and the show in that defense. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Beautiful left-hand counter. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Punches in bunches as he lands another combination there. Really doing a nice job stringing his shots together. He's doing a great job of stringing his shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks. Great job finding different places for his strikes to land. Just misses there with the left. Midway through round one. Closes the distance, gets the single power tie. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. All right, single power tie now. Whiffs on the elbow. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Ooh, found a home for that knee. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Real nice body kick lands. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh, and another nice combination, just absolutely picking him apart on the feet. I'd probably be tapping to the strikes. I mean, he is destroying him, but don't sell yourself short. You don't tap the strikes, you go Never. to sleep, John. But this guy has been putting combinations together just so beautifully. I don't know what he can do to try to change it. Punch over the top. Another shot here. off the jab nicely there. It's a beautiful, fast, quick jab with beating. Left hook, yep. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing on the side of the ball's head over and over again. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Oh, nice connection by him there. And it looks as though that shot actually has cut him open. Yeah, it cut him open right there. A beautiful shot lands. Opens up a cut. Oh, back and forth we go. Stuff the takedown, no problem. All right now, a little separation between the two fighters. Oh, he didn't see that one coming. Beautiful combination up top. Lee's eye starting to swell oh. out. Oh. Round two is next. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. Yeah, man, you see two high-level grapplers going after it. One guy gets an advantage. The other guy always has a response. We thought it was over. A lesser opponent would have been submitted, but these two are two of the best grapplers in the entire UFC. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do All it. right, round two. All right, here we go. Next round is underway. You saw him work his submission game a bit in the previous round, and he is all off. Oh, he's right back. And now some distance as they pull apart. Oh, good sequence there. The right hand followed by the left. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Oh, nice level 
change. Nicely done. All right, so he continues to land, and not exactly what we thought we would see in this one tonight, but the wrestler willing to stand and trade and proving to be able as well. Yeah, it's out of the ordinary. Usually this guy level changes to take it on very early in fights, but tonight he is showing that he is comfortable in the striking, and he is on point with his striking. They've worked very hard to improve his stand-up skills, and is showing right now. Postures up and delivers a massive ground-and-pound punch to the head. Takes his back now. Gives the ball here. Yes, smart adjustment. Yep. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Spivak. Another strike gets through from the top position. Lee getting worked here from the top. Ground and pound strikes raining down. Looks like he's trying for a submission now. What a tight arm bar. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. you got to be kidding me. How did he get out? He just stayed calm, was able to withstand the fire, and now he finds himself out and safe. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground. He can fight in the stand-up. But he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time. And it is showing in this performance. Oh, nice. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily win. Spivak gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. Spivak's in half court. Oh, right into Mount. This is a terrible position. Postures up now and lands a vicious head strike. Well, you gotta think he's gonna enjoy watching. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted, he's been beaten. Well, he is really seeing things well offensively here tonight, and he's caused a lot of smoke there on his opponent. You got the oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Let's go. We need to score that takedown. Spivak going for the takedown, but unable to land. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more. Oh, my God. And this is why you pay to be in the building. Back and forth we go. Oh, nice body shot. Very fast leg kick lands for him. Well, he's now dealing with a cheek cut. Also a level change. Great timing. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, they're trying to set up a choke here. Oh, that arm triangle's wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. Oh, he puts his knee on belly. He's tossed and landed. Huge ground and ball. The guy has to move or the fight's going to get finished. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Gotta love the clinch work here. Strong knees to the body landed there by Lee. And now some knees. Oh. Good run.
ready to fight. You ready? Go Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Ooh, it looks like that shot was blocked. The left hook lands on the counter. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Big right hand. Yeah, yeah. Oh, pinpoint ground strike by him there, and that one opened up a cut. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Spivak. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. Let's go. Get him off you. Get him off. I'll stop this. You better fight back. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Leon Billy, he's waiting down, throwing a ball. If he doesn't move on the bottom, he's going to get finished. Looks like the referee could step in here. Spivox in half guard. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Spivox. Going after that cut over and over again, and every time he lands, the cut gets worse. Just over three minutes to go now. Posture's up now. That's a vicious head strike. How'd he take it? All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his ground and pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back to position, build posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half guard. The doctor may have to take a look at this. He's getting hit on that swollen area over and over again, and it seems critical now. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Oh, nice movement to avoid that strike coming down. Big, big shots landed by him now. Good work from the top here by Spivak. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Watch a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but oh, arm triangle attempt now. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back up. All right, so a grueling battle on the ground, and no surprise, the crowd pops in appreciation as the fighters work their way back to the This field. is an educated crowd, J.A. They appreciate high-level grappling, and that's exactly what they got in that exchange. Oh, nice jab there by Lee. Man, that cut has really opened up. Blocks the shot. Takedown defense holds up. Now they separate. Both fighters throwing heat now. Side kick. Oh, oh, play shot there, DC. He is officially rocked. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Oh, damaging knee to the head. Lee's cut on his cheek is nasty. Thank God these guys are tough because that thing will not stop bleeding at this point in time. Hands going from the clinch. He lands a nasty shot from there. So pretty good recovery by... Oh, oh he's got him hurting here. Vicious combo there. to now start to find uppercuts up the middle. Oh, he's still hurt. Look at that. He can't even stand. Oh, oh. oh. I think he's still compromised. We'll see if he can recover here. He's in a world of trouble. Oh. Big right hand. I mean, how about 
Stop. those last five minutes. Are you kidding me? Oh, the round is over and blood is just fauceting out of this cheek. That cheek has gotten out of control. Cut man can only do so much. And given the fact that that cut continues to be attacked by the opponent, if this thing gets any worse, they're going to stop this fight. All right, DC, we got a few clips of the damage done in that round. Can see where things really started to escalate. Yeah, really open up that cut, John. The blows are just devastating. He's got to get out of the way more. I mean, if this guy won't do it himself, somebody's got to help him. Yeah. Because you right. cannot keep taking these right. types of shots. All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of a fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round in fight. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. He is in a lot of danger now. His opponent has beaten him. He's battered him, and now he is wearing it. There's a ton of blood on his face. Great shot from the top position. Another ground and pound strike lands. He's got to start throwing now. Let's get that half bar close. Oh, these ground strikes are just brutal. And the ground strikes starting to pile up. Well, he's on his back, but he's moving his head on the ground pretty well defensively. This is where he wants to be. Need you to he's an out. Oh, heavy shots raining down. Working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Spiva. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. Posture's up now. Oh, and delivers. Huge punch to the head there. All right, so a knockdown for him in the previous round. And you can just see by his body language how confident he is in the striking realm in this matchup. And you can see his confidence in his posture, but also you can see the effect that knockdown had on his opponent by the way he is approaching this round. Man, his body not looking too good right now. It's not quite Dominic Reyes against Jan Blachowicz, but these body strikes really starting to add up. They're starting to pay dividends. You know, he spoke to us about this earlier in the week, how he was going to eat this guy up from bottom to top. He was going to go in reverse. That is exactly what he has done. Gets the single leg takedown. Takedown defense holds up. And now some separation. Got the single leg Lee's eye is almost swollen shut. It's actually swollen shut at this point in time. They might potentially stop this fight if he has vision issues from here. Oh, big, big shots here. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. He passes the half. Now he's looking arm triangle on the opposite side. When he goes to finish, look, he's got it locked. When he goes to finish, he has to pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest to get enough pressure to finish his technique. That's tight. Oh, he got out! He actually bridged, got his hips up in the air, used his momentum to take him back towards his opponent's feet, chest down to the mat to get out of that deep submission attempt. This man is landing brutal ground and pound. Spivak gets hit with that overhand. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, the separation the clinch. Just out of range with that left hook. Well, this UFC fight is sort of dissolving into a horror movie. Oh! I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout.
But let's get it to Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 52 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Sergey Polar Bear So how about this? We have a new UFC heavyweight champion of the world. I think that guy beats Daniel Cormier. I